Let's dream and then dream big. And uh, dreams are considered free to do, di ba? So let's just dream and dream big. And also make sure, of course, while we're dreaming, we planted our feet in terms of what's reality also. Tony Tan Kakatong, the founder of Jollibee, has shared many words of advice over the years based on his experience as a successful businessman and entrepreneur. In this video, we will summarize the top 10 pieces of life advice from Tony Tan Kakatong to help you in achieving your goals. Advice number one, stay focused on your goals and be persistent in pursuing them. You see, from a very early time, Tony Tan Kakatong had a clear vision of what he wanted to achieve even when Jollibee was a single restaurant. He wanted Jollibee to become the dominant fast food chain in the Philippines and eventually expand globally. While there were much larger competitors that tried to compete in the Philippines who had more money and resources than him, such as McDonald's, Tony Tan did not give up on his goal. He was determined to achieve his goal, which was to make Jollibee the number one fast food chain in the Philippines. The lesson that you can learn from Tony Tan is that when you are pursuing your own life goals, you will run into a lot of resistance and conflict. However, you must always stay focused on your goals and be persistent, not letting distractions and obstacles prevent you from realizing your vision. Advice number two, don't be afraid to take calculated risks. You may think Tony Tan Kakatong as being the perfect entrepreneur who timed the market at the perfect time, but he took several risks in building Jollibee and learned from a lot of different mistakes. First, let's take a look at some of the risks that Tony Tan Kakatong made. In the early days of Jollibee, the company faced stiff competition from established fast food brands like McDonald's and KFC. To differentiate Jollibee, Tony took the risk of diversifying the menu and introducing Filipino dishes like spaghetti and fried chicken, which eventually became Jollibee's signature dishes. While today it seems like an afterthought that those dishes would work and these dishes are now synonymous with Jollibee's brand, in the early days, this was something that was never done successfully before and was a major risk. Jollibee's international expansion outside of the Philippines was also a risk, as the company had to adapt to different markets and cultures. However, the company's eventual success in countries like the United States and the Middle East has shown that the risk paid off as Jollibee was successful in both markets. The lesson that you can learn from Tony Tan is that in order to be successful in the market, sometimes you need to be unique and differentiate yourself from the competition. Sometimes this involves taking a risk and stepping outside your comfort zone. However, if you stay at the same place, always playing it safe, you will always end up in the same place in life. Don't just copy your competition, differentiate. Advice number three, don't be afraid to make mistakes. They can be valuable learning experiences. In terms of mistakes, Tony Tan Kakatong has admitted to making several. First, he underestimated the importance of marketing. In the early days of Jollibee, Tony focused more on product development and operations than on marketing. This led to slower growth than he had hoped for and he realized the importance of marketing in building a successful brand. Second was overexpansion. Jollibee expanded too quickly in the 1990s, which led to financial difficulties and the need to close several stores. Tony soon realized that the company needed to slow down and focus on consolidating its operations. Third was underestimating the competition. In the early days of Jollibee, Tony underestimated the competition from established fast food chains. This led to some mistakes in menu development and marketing, which he later corrected. However, if Tony Tan did not make these mistakes, he would not be able to become successful later on. Here's what you can learn from Tony Tan. Think about your own life. If you are not getting the results that you want, Perhaps you are not learning fast enough. A big part of learning is to take calculated risks and make mistakes. If you never make a mistake in life, then you never grow as a person. Treat every experience, no matter how negative or how much of a mistake you made, as a learning opportunity. Advice number four, surround yourself with talented and passionate people who share your vision. Tony Tan Kakatong made sure that the people he brought on board shared his vision for Jollibee, including his values of hard work, integrity, and customer service. He also recognized the importance of diversity in his team, seeking out individuals with different backgrounds, skills, and experiences. This diversity allowed the team to approach challenges from multiple perspectives and come up with more creative solutions. Tony Tan Kakatong also invested in his employees' development by providing them with training and development opportunities. This not only helped his team members grow professionally, but also helped Jollibee build a strong organizational culture. When you think about your own goals, recognize that it is very difficult to achieve your goals alone. 
You need to align yourself with the right people and build the right team in order to help you achieve the success that you want in life. It is almost impossible to be successful alone. Think about the people you are surrounding yourself with on a daily basis. Keep in mind that you are the average of the five people that you spend the most time with on a daily basis. But life is a two-way street. Most people also want to surround themselves with people that inspire them and help them grow. Remember this life lesson from Tony Tan as you go on your own business adventures. Advice number five, listen to feedback from customers and employees and use it to improve your business. Under the direction of Tony Tan, Jollibee regularly conducts customer surveys to get feedback on the quality of their food, service, and overall experience. They use this feedback to improve their products and services. They actively monitor social media platforms to see what customers are saying about their brand. This helps them quickly address any concerns or complaints. Jollibee encourages customers to provide feedback through their website, social media, and in-store feedback forms. And Tony Tan Kakadong places a great importance on listening to his employees. He regularly meets with them to hear their feedback on how to improve the company's operations and products. Jollibee also has a program called the Employee Suggestion System, which encourages employees to suggest ways to improve the company's operations and products. Learn from Tony Tan. If you are building a business, understand who you are ultimately serving. You are ultimately serving your customers and you need to spend the time with them to understand exactly what they want. Your day-to-day -day soldiers are your employees and if you don't treat your employees right, they won't treat your customers right. Never forget this fact as you go on to conquer life goals. Advice number six, stay true to your values and ethics even when faced with difficult decisions. Tony Tan Kakatong is known for his strong values and ethics, which he has maintained throughout his career even when faced with difficult decisions. For example, his focus on customer satisfaction has always been a top priority for him, even when faced with difficult decisions that could potentially impact profits. He has often stated that customer satisfaction is the key to the success of Jollibee. Tony Tan Kakatong has always emphasized the importance of integrity and honesty in business. He has implemented strict policies to ensure that Jollibee operates with transparency and fairness, and he has always placed a high value on the welfare of his employees. He has implemented various programs to ensure their well-being, such as providing health insurance, scholarships, and other benefits. These are all things that affect short-term profits but have a much more lasting impact. Learn from Tony Tan. A lot of business owners and companies have short-sighted thinking. They cannot think beyond short-term profits and try to take advantage of their employees and customers. Advice number seven, continuously innovate and adapt to changing market conditions. Jollibee has continuously introduced new products and menu items to keep up with changing consumer tastes and preferences. For example, they have introduced healthier menu options and adapted their menu to cater to local tastes in different countries. They have expanded into new markets, both domestically and internationally, to reach new customers and adapt to changing market conditions. They have also acquired other brands such as Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf to diversify their product offerings. Jollibee has invested in technology to improve their operations and customer experience. For example, they have implemented online ordering systems, mobile apps, and digital kiosks in their stores. Jollibee has collaborated with other companies to introduce new products and reach new customers. For example, they partnered with PepsiCo to introduce a new line of beverages in the Philippines. Just remember that the market is constantly changing and to be successful in business and life, you need to constantly evolve and change with the market. Survival of the fittest is not about who is the strongest, but who can adapt the best. Companies and people that are static and who are stubborn or resistant to change will not succeed in the long run. Advice number eight. Be disciplined and strategic in managing your resources. Tony Tan Kakatong has always focused on Jollibee's core competencies, which are high quality food, great customer service, and an excellent dining experience. He has focused his resources on improving and maintaining these core competencies to ensure the success of the business. He has implemented various cost-saving measures to manage his resources effectively. For example, Jollibee has streamlined its supply chain and production processes to reduce costs. Finally, Tony Tan Kakatong has prioritized growth opportunities that align with Jollibee's strategic goals. He has focused on expanding the business in a way that is sustainable and profitable, rather than pursuing every opportunity that comes along. In life and in business, you will come across multiple opportunities. Sometimes it is difficult to pick the right one, but trying to pursue every business opportunity will cause you to burn out and fail quickly. Learn from Tony Tan. Focus on what you are good on and maximize your strengths to the fullest. Don't be like the hunter trying to chase after every rabbit. Your resources contain your own personal energy. If you are not disciplined and strategic in managing your own energy, you will not achieve the success you want in life. 
People who jump around trying to be successful in everything will not be successful in anything. Advice number nine, listen to others. Tony Tan Kakatong actively listens to the ideas and opinions of others, regardless of their position or background. He believes that everyone has something valuable to contribute. He remains open-minded and willing to consider new ideas and perspectives. He is always looking for ways to improve and is not afraid to make changes when necessary. Tony Tan Kakatong continues his education by attending conferences, seminars, and workshops to stay up to date with the latest trends and best practices in the industry. He leads by example, demonstrating humility and a willingness to learn. He encourages his employees to do the same, creating a culture of continuous learning and improvement at Jollibee. Learn from Tony Tan. The world is constantly changing, and the only way to keep up is to continue learning. By staying current with new trends and developments, you can adapt to change more quickly and effectively. Continuous learning enables you to improve your skills and knowledge, which is essential for personal and professional growth. By developing new skills and expanding your knowledge base, you can become more competitive in the job market or more competitive in business and increase your earning potential. Advice number ten: Give back to the community and make a positive impact on society. Tony Tan Kakatong is a strong advocate of education and has supported various initiatives to improve access to education. He has donated to schools and universities and has established scholarship programs to support deserving students. Tony Tan Kakatong and the Jolly Bee Group Foundation have donated millions of pesos to various charitable causes, including disaster relief efforts, medical missions, and community development projects. He has created thousands of jobs through Jolly Bee and its subsidiary companies. By providing employment opportunities, he has helped to stimulate economic growth and reduce poverty in the communities where Jolly Bee operates. As you continue your own personal success journey, remember that giving back to the community will enrich your heart and ensure that you are giving a positive impact on society. Never forget that true success is in the act of giving and building a legacy. I hope you learned a lot from the success principles that helped Tony Tan Kakatong of Jolly Bee become successful. What was your favorite success principle of Tony Tan Kakatong? Drop a comment below, and we'll see you in the next one.